I'd rather be dead to support the kill. The city is bleeding too bad. They, they just try to sing, but there is no fucking way. I don't want to see the tears in your face. I'm Ellie Menjum, and I'm traveling around Europe exploring the most intense club football matches on the continent. These are the games where losing is not an option. These are the games that bring violence to the streets. These are Derby days. This week, I'm in Rome for what is considered one of the most violent matches in world football. I'm actually a little scared because whilst I've done many derbies before, none have had the level of hatred between both sets of fans. We've seen running battles on the streets, we've seen violent stabbings and brutal conflict in the stands. These two teams hate each other. It's Lazio, it's Roma, it's the derby della Capitale. All the year, they live for this kind of rivalry. It's not just a game. It's something special. In that moment, uh, it's the enemy. It's not sport. When I see in front of me the other supporters, I think my, in my head, they must die. One of the, the most passionate and emotional derby, I think, in Europe. Most important, most beautiful, most uh, uh, dangerous, uh, most everything. Here in Rome, the derby means more than in perhaps any other city in the world. If someone would have asked me now, would you rather take the title in May or win the Derby Sunday? It's a hard question. In that game, you're claiming that you are the emperor of Rome. I think that explains a lot of how much the Derby means. Nothing counts outside Rome. The supremacy in the city is what counts the most. Lazio and Roma, uh, they used to win very few Scudetto. Roma Lazio was, uh, was fighting only for the middle of the championship of the tournament and this was the only reason to be proud. In Rome for years the, the only meaning of the season was to win the derby. The trophies, the titles and everything. That is just an instrument to measure how better you are compared to Roma or how better you are compared to Lazio. It's not about we are the champion of Italy, it's about we finished ahead of them. Now, I'm not usually put off by active support. In fact, the reason I fell in love with football was because of fans and what they do off the pitch. But this derby, the Roman derby, is different. The animosity both sets of fans have for each other is so strong that match day can often lead to very hostile and extremely violent scenes. A normal Lazio fan that was sitting on his uh, uh, seat uh, in the stadium uh, waiting for the game to start and then suddenly one flare was shot from the other side of the stadium from the Roma stand that flare that was shot a couple of seconds before exactly entered the eye of this guy I was with a friend of mine we we had the Lazio t-shirt and we parked the car near Kubasut and 12 Roma fans attacked they pushed me on the ground they killed me and one of them with a stick hit me twice on my head. The main problems are the what is called in Roman slang pinching, punchicata. What is that? It's the stabbing. There are sometimes some small cell of ultras, I would say three or four, they just go around to find some unprotected fan and they just quickly they give some pinching, some not pinching but some stabbing in that way. When I see in front of me the other supporters, I think in my, in my head they must die. You have to lose 3-0, three, 4-0, three, three nil, nil, yeah. 5 nil. I don't want to see the tears on your face. Sometimes it is just too much poison in the air. It's just too much extreme. It's just too much conflict. It's just too much we against you, you against us. You can't live all the year in the, with this conflict. It's my first derby. Uh, and I'm, prepare yourself. <laughs> for what? What will I see? For everything. Things heat up outside the stadium, don't they? Uh, it de it, 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 it depends uh, where you go. In the, the front of the, the obelisk. Moment, uh, you... The obelisk? The obelisk. Uh, it's like something like this, in like front of the uh, Olympic Stadium. Where it stands yeah. Yeah, it's safe or it's not safe around there? It's not safe. Either. No, no. Okay. And to illustrate this point, my producer's given me headlines from the most recent of derbies and they're all saying the same thing. Violence surrounds Rome derby again. Uh, this one says, brutal clashes with police mob build up to Rome. Fans stabbed. And this one has Rome affectionately known as Stab City. Basically, with me heading there Sunday, it doesn't make for a great reading. I mean, is it really this violent? Do the fans hate each other this much? And if so, why? It is the Rome. It is the capital. It is the the city, the capital of the world, the oldest city in the world. This city, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy for the football, in particular way it's crazy when there is a derby.
The mentality is extremely local. We were founded in the working class area of Rome, which is the Staccio. So generally the Roma fans come from the city, while the Lazio fans uh, come from outside. And that's why we always uh, fight about this, because we claim to be the real fans of Rome. Well, we see them as outsiders. We are part of this city. Some people say, you are a Laziale. Yes, but I live in Roma. I am a cittadino. I am living in this city. I'm not coming from outside, so I feel I'm a Roman. A lot of people think uh, uh, that uh, Roma, AS Roma, is uh, the first team in Rome, but it's not. Lazio was already, uh, was already the team, and there were three other teams in Rome, and Mussolini Benito Mussolini wanted just one team, so he took these three uh, teams that were already formed and put them together and formed Roma. It's easy to be a Roma supporter, you know, the, the name of the city and everything, but uh, if you go and look at the history, you realize how important it is to, to be a Lazio fan. The fans of both these clubs wield a huge amount of influence. The connection they have with their players and that the players have with the fans is almost unparalleled in world football. A fact that can be underlined by an extraordinary incident back in 2004. A fake uh, rumour of one kid drove over by a police car outside the stadium uh, pushed both the fans, both the ultras, to stop the, uh, the derby. After false rumours circulated that a young boy had been killed outside of the stadium, the ultras of AS Roma stormed the pitch during a derby and demanded to speak to their captain, Francesco Totti. The ultras demanded that the game be called off and after frantic discussions between Francesco Totti, the referee and the Italian FA, that's exactly what happened. Despite all that, there have been moments where supporters from both teams have been able to set aside their differences and unite for a greater cause. In November 2007, 26-year-old Gabriele Sandri was sitting in his car as Lazio fans fought with rival Juventus supporters. He was shot and killed by a police officer at the scene. When Gabriele died, uh, Lazio's fans, Roma fans and all Italian ultras be united uh, against the system, against the authority, because they try to uh, hide what happened. If you take a taxi and you listen to the radio and they are always tuned on the Roma radios or Lazio radios that are speaking endlessly about the derby, the derby, the derby. It's just all the year this thing is fueling. Now we've heard the 24-hour radio stations that speak just about the derby. We've seen the newspapers that are back to front page football. So we've come down to AS Roma now to experience firsthand the media hype for this fixture. Uh, Ellie mentioned Copa 90. Uh, the derby of Rome, it's considered to some the most heated in the world football. Do you agree with this? I think that the derby has felt more for the players than for the players. It depends a bit because we have three players who are Romanists, like Daniel De Rossi, Francesco Tosi and Florenzi, to talk about only these three. For those, maybe it's a bit more felt. For the past derbies, you know, we've done everything. We've, you know, I was lighting flares with the active supporters at Barca. We were catching the train to the game with the Milan Ultras. Uh, but there's something about Rome Lazio. I don't know. It's like for the first time with Coppa Nani, I'm anxious about what, what's going to happen. Something tells me that this derby is going to provide something this series hasn't seen before. Whether it's good or bad, I, I don't know. But oh, it's it's got me feeling something I haven't felt before a game.
Here we go, it is morning of the Roman Derby and there is no way you can not know about it. The media has it front to back page, but for the first time ever, a 12 page lift out of derbies amongst the rest of the Derby talk. And after a week of beautiful Roman sun, match days come around and the weather has turned gray, it's turned gloomy, and to be honest, amongst all of us, so has the mood. We're heading to the stadium to see the atmosphere and we have just no idea what we're in for. The city tomorrow will be very strange because the day of the derby uh, is like uh, to be without breath. And as much as Copa 99, and in fact this series, are all about the, uh, the fans, especially the ultras, they're not so much into uh, the idea of cameras being put in their face. So that's why we've got Patricio here. He's our bodyguard. He's going to be uh, sticking by us and watching out. And uh, just making sure that as much as we're going to try and get uh, in with the uh, fans, they don't get too in with us, if you know what I mean. Oh, and here we go. First uh, police uh, presence when we're blocks away. Half 11. There was more than four hours to go and already the police are shutting off a good 20 blocks prior to the stadium. We're being told we can't get a cab there, we have to walk. Everything's uh, playing out like we were told. We've already spent a good 20 minutes uh, asking people to tell us about the uh, derby. No one wants to talk, no one even wants to look at us in the uh, uh, in the eyes, it's there's something different going on here. Oh. Can you feel the vibe? Yeah, yeah. In my, Have you been beaten up my, already? In my pants. I'm looking. No, I'm, come on. <laughs> I'm looking. He's at... Cheating in his pants. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I can smell it for me. <laughs> so basically, Producio has gone and asked uh, the Lazio in now if anyone wants to chat, and it's just one constant no. This is all gonna have to be done from afar, guys, because the derby is just too tense. It's getting ridiculous. No one's talking. The cops are telling us to, to put the cameras down. There's bombs going off and everyone looks like they want to beat everyone else up. So I say we just head in. No one's talking. Let's go in. certain terms that shooting a wrap up outside the stadium after the game was not an option in the interest of our safety so we're here outside the Piazza Venezia and we're talking about the derby. On the pitch it was nil nil. Both teams really didn't turn up but that wasn't really what this derby was about. It never really is. It was about the fans and especially this one. Never ending flares, constant banners. I saw 30 or 40 constantly abusing each other across the pitch. They had makeshift bombs. It was insane. As for the violence, well, it never really materialized. Entering the Stadio Olimpico was the most tense atmosphere I have ever been part of. There were rumors that Lazio fans clashed with police and we could hear sirens and smoke bombs going off in the distance. For the faint-hearted, well, this derby, it might just be a little too extreme to handle, but if you're like me, and you're into football and derbies for the raw and brutal emotion they draw from the fans and the people of the city and the colour and noise they bring to the streets and inside the stadium. Well, this, the Derby della Capitale, has all of that and more. Well, that's it from us here in Rome. Next up, it's Arsenal, it's Tottenham, it's the North London Derby. So if you want to check it out or any of our past derbies across Europe, make sure you subscribe to Copper 90. Yay! Awesome.